Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Flutter Explains Animation. Today I want to show you how you create in a transition of different screens a hero animation. A hero animation is if an icon flies to another screen on different locations of that screen. All right, so let's get started. All right, to start off this animation tutorial with hero images, we first need two screens and a navigation. So let's get started. As I already mentioned today, we want to work with a specific type of animation that's called hero. And a hero has the benefit that we can create transitions of different icons and elements inside of the app during a transition. So what is a transition? If we go from page one to page two, we can see we have a transition app getting swiped inside and we can see, we can see immediately the other page. And now what we want to achieve is that this icon follows this icon on page two without the transition that happens in between. And this happens with a hero icon. So I can wrap this icon with a hero. That is a different widget type, which gives us the uh, possibility to add a tag. And with that, it will understand the navigation, the how it can fly. And for that, we have to add this hero a tag. So I call that tag. I call that a sunny tag and I copy that one because I will need it again. And now we have to specify on the second screen. So where we want to have it landed at the icon level, also the hero widget and the hero widget also gets the tag and exactly the same tag like we gave in the first screen. So they know exactly where they have to go to. And what happens now if I press to get, go to next page is we see the sun it's very fast, but you can see it maybe, the sun is moving around. So, and to make it a bit more visible for you guys, I would say it should go to the top right with that align specification. And as you see, the sun on the second screen is now on the top right. And if I turn the hero, it immediately understands where it needs to fly, you know? And this can happen with all the widgets that you have. You can nearly take everything. And that is pretty neat to create a small, nice little animation that you can use in every direction and every situation. And it not even have to be an icon, it can be an image, it can be text, it can be anything you like that you want to share between different screens. With that, you have a very basic, um, very easy to achieve animation in your apps to make them more beautiful. All right, so try it out in a, your next project and leave it down in the comments what you think about it. There is nothing left to say. Thank you for watching. Very short episode today. <laughs> I hope you liked it anyway. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a like message. On the right side, you find the subscribe button and top of me, you have the two videos that you maybe like. And as always, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.